One percenters, welcome back. Coach Tommy here, teaching tape, Nuggets, Clippers. For those that don't know, I'm a uh, psychologist, personal trainer, performance enhancement specialist, high school basketball coach. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments. I didn't know all of that stuff about the Nuggets. Um, you guys are way smarter than me. Um, I got my water. Whoever whoever wrote, I'm clearing my throat all the time. Didn't even notice. Sorry. I uh, hope it doesn't bug you guys too much. But uh, anyways, all right, let's go. Nuggets, Clippers. Is uh oh Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are playing. It must be a. It must be a special day that they're both playing. I'm assuming Denver wins. Post game. Taking his time. That's too easy. You can't let Kawhi Leonard back down Jamal Murray like that. He he's the robot. He's gonna take his time. MPJ, I agree with most of you guys. He's a sniper. I didn't know he stays around at practice, gets up thousands of shots. Um, someone told me he took four dribbles or something last game. Um, reminds me of that time Clay Thompson, I don't know, went went bananas and only took like five dribbles or something like that. Nice little passing. Also, I didn't know Michael Porter had, had some back problems, so that's something uh, I will definitely keep my eye on. Guards, I mean, this is this is the simple thing, right? you got to be able to run, two dribble pull up, and then have a controlled fade. So two dribbles, four steps, two dribbles, four steps into a controlled fade using the right angles, especially if you're a smaller guard, okay? If you can escape, if you can get some type of screen or reject a screen, you see how Paul George doesn't even jump here? It's too late, right? That's beautiful. I mean, super simple. Um, a super simple move, very, very hard to execute cleanly like this why isn't this thing not pausing okay so you set up this little uh triangle here one guy comes across and it's just pure footwork okay you get that screen here right hop right left hop for paul george catches on the left foot hop Okay, when you hop and land, when you're bent already like this, you guys, you have to have the ball in your position three. When you're going up, position three is basically the point when all your body, all the energy is now just contracting or exploding, right? So there's no more loading, it's all exploding. So when you're at position three, everything should be going up or exploding. So if you're gonna run through this quick, get your feet left hop, Okay, you have to get your ball into position three. If it's late, if the ball is down here in position two or one, you're never going to get that shot off. So shot timing is critical. The pros make it look so easy, um, but it takes tons and tons of reps. Spin, oh my God. So uh, 2.5 drill again, guys, right? Two dribbles or less, 0.5 seconds or less. Okay, you caught it, right? This would have been a great time, right? Aggressive defender to just spin and take that backside. He's gonna have to recover. You can spin, you can take it all the way if you're fast. Spin when he recovers, you know, just bounce out and you get your jumper there. Come on, Will Barton, I thought you were a scorer. You're not comfortable like that, wants to size up, dance. Personality, right? Mindset versus skill set. Jokic, much more uh, playmaker skill set. And PJ, you guys love him. So this is a power dunker. Okay, this is simple, right? So power dunker, they don't look um, as nice. They're not as fluid. So Zach Levine would have one-legged punched this. Uh, I got the one-legged jump program coming. It's almost done. 
Um, side note, but I'm excited. My my one leg has uh, improved quite a bit. I'm a power jumper, and I've always more or less been a uh, one legged, uh, two legged jumper because of volleyball. But normally, LeBron, Zach Levine, most guys would uh, take off one leg off of their left right here. So that would be a more fluid one legged jump. But you see how he hops? That's what a power dunker looks like. Basically, use a little bit more elasticity. Most dunkers would have gone just off the left. Very few would have gone left, right. Very few, even less, would go left hop like uh, Gordon there. Campasso. It's too easy. That's a nice pass. It's a little bit hard to handle. Good hands by Aaron Gordon. How many minutes is he getting? 20, 15? Here we go. Uh, Luke Kennard was on the Detroit Pistons side note. I went to Detroit and he was the only jersey I wanted to go when I went to that game. He was on the Pistons. Uh, that was when Drummond was on the Pistons. Spiraling, hinging, right? He's vertical here, right? Vertical, that's like squat stance. Okay, here, it's all nice and spirally, okay? Okay, no straight lines in, in real life. Right here, we're on, on the toes. Okay, soft bend. If you if you saw that thing um, on the one-legged jump stuff, this should be about 144. And on this backside, okay, you should all be rotating that way. Uh, most of the way we're rotating. All your energy is rotating this way. Okay. Heels up on each side. And why does Luke Kennard look super fast? Okay. What was wrong with that, guys? Do you guys know what was wrong with that? Okay, this is a, a banana. Okay, this should, his head should have been here, and he should have had all that. Okay, so banana's not bad. Feet are okay. Upper body is uh, not that great. Beautiful two-dribble pull-up. Small little controlled fade at the end. That boy can shoot. <clears throat> Where's Jokic at? I haven't seen him do much yet. 34, 24. Simple, guys. So when you guys catch and replace offensive rebounds, you're going to be open. Ball coming to you. Replace. Hop your feet on the catch. So many people are just so flat-footed, so heavy-footed when they, when they play. Fourteen, number fourteen is what Clippers need. They need energy. I've seen him on the last Clippers game. He's got a ton of energy. Probably a rookie or a young, younger player. There you go. Good replacement again there. Right? Catch and shoot with Batum, replacing the feet. Oh yeah, body him up. So chest and checker is the first one, super aggressive, right? Gets, gets him stumbling. And the second one, he's lighter and he just snakes his way out of there and pivots and spins and, you know, obviously no jump. So boom, sends him flying. Wake up, boy, I'm going to punk you. And then when he goes to brace for the next one, right, slips. And then uh, he's on his heels. <laughs> Got him, coach. And then you get the... Uh, the left, uh, what is this? Yeah, the left arm hook, right? So the elbow just hooks him around the lat there. Okay, that's right there. That's just tricks and that's just skills. That, that's battling in the post. Okay, like when, when you're a banana, that's like when you give up, right? Punked him. Uh. So he braces up for the next one. And when he braces up, he just chest and checkers, boys. It's a tough pull-up right in his face, high arc. Oof. Where's Rondo? Does he get any minutes? Is he injured? What's going on? I don't see Rondo. Beautiful again. I mean, 
So Jokic can choose where he wants to operate. That looks like uh, he's getting some post stuff over here, right? This back foot is this way, this way. This is a Dorito, right? You're, you're useless. You're useless if you're in this position. Basically, you've given up. He's going to put that hook onto you. Okay, get around here, right here. Right, left step. Okay, when they're all looking at him, you find your slasher in the back. This is exactly who he needs. Make sure you stay in the court, dude. Fantasy points, mad efficiency, Aaron Gordon, probably. Because of Jokic. Oh, he makes tough shots look easy. He makes tough shots look so easy. When you got a good defender on you, look how low Kawhi Leonard is, right? So this, this is what we talk about hinging, hinging, right? Staggered stance right here. This is this is hinging, but he, he's a little bit more curved in his back. But you see who's lower, right? This is the gun stance, the giddy up stance. So that's the stances you guys need to be practicing if you guys are out there hoping. Oh my God. Great body control, Jamal Murray. Robot, what are you going to do, man? 46, 62. The, like, if I'm MPJ, I don't think Kawhi Leonard is that much more athletic than me. Like, this is why I don't like the Clippers. They have Kawhi Leonard in high pick and rolls a lot, and Kawhi Leonard is not fast enough to turn the corner on a lot of guards. His handle is good but it's not elusive. It's not quick. He's so robotic. So, you know, he's going to drive on you. He's probably going to jump stop, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pivot, spin. You have a chance for, for defenses to recover. The person coming off the ball should be Paul George because he's a little bit quicker. His handle's a lot better. Even Reggie Jackson. Um, uh, Kawhi Leonard, most of the times he's going to stop and, and, and stop around here. That's why I don't really trust the Clippers uh, in, in tight games or against better teams and stuff like that. Their offense is, is uh, it's good, it's efficient, but it's not, it's not going to cut it out. Man. MPJ. Okay, uh, is that Jamal Murray cuts through. Aaron Gordon sets a little screen here. Normally, this would be a catch and shoot for Jamal Murray. Uh, Jamal Murray, MPJ, right? Good defense by Paul George to stop the catch and shoot, right? 2.5 draw, I love it, right? Pump fake right here, and then side step back. This is this is exactly what I want out of my guys. This is exactly what I wish more NBA players would do, right? Two dribbles, step back at the right angle into space. If MPJ can evolve into that, right? His next, his next level is clay thompson pump fake one dribble escape one dribble step back two dribble step back two dribble floater that's all he needs and he will be a hall of famer if, if he can shoot that well and, and do stuff like that clippers down 13. there's that high position three Oh, when I get some more time, I need to make some time to make some videos on me working on a high position three jump shot. Clockwork. So here, let's look at a... Uh, Kawhi Leonard, right? So does he does he get down low enough, right? He doesn't get down low enough to get around. So this is just a simple jab. This is how you don't really get the angle, right, on people. So that that first dribble, you're not going to get past them. So look, he gets into this, right? So he dribbles down to the baseline. Nothing's there. It gets cut off. So he goes down here, and then he's got to come through here, and then he's got to go through his you know Kobe routine. Okay, pound, okay, jump back, land on two feet, right? And then when you're on two feet, you can choose what side you want to turn on based off of where the defender's at. 
it's a nice move. Don't get me wrong. But Kawhi Leonard is not as athletic as Kobe. He's not as elusive as Kobe. Take my time middle. <laughs> He's so nice, man. He's so nice. You know this guy's coming. Aaron Gordon's figured it out already. Looks like in two or three games. When all that when when this dude is coming for him, he's coming to help. He's going right to the gap, guys. So find the open spots. So easy. So easy. Come on, can we get some real dunks? You need to work on those dunks. Him and him and MPJ, they got to get on the Vertimax. Do some elastic jumps. They need to hit the trap bar. They need to hit the lunges. Get up. Patrick Patterson getting up. He's going to be a three-point shooter. 71-61. Compasso, don't shoot that. Ha, ah, there's Aaron Gordon again, right? 2.5 drill. It's not that it's not that nice. I mean, pass, right? I would I would have loved if he had uh, let this guy come a little sooner before he passed it. Like th this is you wanting to be a sniper. So I mean, anytime a sniper gets the ball, they think they shoot, man. So he pass fakes and he, he thinks about it before he passes it. It's like, damn, I, I wish you would have went on that pass fake so I could shoot it. Um, Will Barton. Like he's already thinking go because he's not probably a good corner three point shooter. So he, he already goes. So it's a little bit disjointed. Like, I mean, I'd rather he be erring on the side of aggression than pa uh, passive. So he goes right again. Why not? Why not? Like you could, you totally could. He's got good hands. As uh, Will Barton, you know, kind of gets into a little trouble here. Right, Aaron Gordon, you know, coming to bail him out. What kind of weak ass jump is that though? Right here, guys. Okay, gigantic pet peeve. When you jump stop, you are going to lose a ton of energy if you land on your heels. This is not normal. This is not normal. This is a shoe technology destroying your mechanics. You do not jump like this, man. Take off your shoes and there, there's no way you would stomp your feet like this. Your feet should be like this, okay? Point your skis in. Your, your skis need to be intersecting for you, for you to get some type of jump. If you're jumping like this with both of your feet pointing outward, okay, you're going to destroy your ankles and knees. So you should be landing you know, on the mid part of your foot, like you're bounding, and then you're gonna, you know, jump a lot more elastically this way. You know this dude is super strong. How come he can't jump this high on, on this type of jump? Yeah. You know, all right, anyways. You do not stomp on your heels to jump. I guarantee 99% of you guys are jump stopping incorrectly. Okay, do you see this? Do you see how he just did that? I mean, this is how you jump stop a jump stop into a jumper. That is how you jump stop. I don't know who started the whole jump stop on the heels. Um, I know I'm guilty of just teaching what my previous coaches taught me and until uh, um, everything started hurting on my body. And I was like, what the hell am I doing wrong? And then I figured it all out, man. I, I went back and I questioned everything. And just because your coach taught it to you prior doesn't mean it's correct. All right, did you see that? Huge difference. Ah, watch it again. So if you got shin splints, this might be one of the reasons. Balls of your feet, guys. Play in the balls of your feet. That's why coaches say stay in your toes. They don't say they don't say stay in your heels. They say get off your heels. All right, back to basketball coach Tommy, not a personal trainer, performance enhancement coach Tommy. Campasso. Bam. 
Dang. Clippers are depressing. Man. Double stagger for Paul George. Like that. You will never see Kawhi Leonard just snake and split and one-legged glide through this. This is a beautiful angle. You get two screens. He's going to come across. Paul Millsap's going to hedge too much. He's going to anchor and go between the legs. Paul George needs that ball in his hands more than Kawhi Leonard. He's going to split this, tap it to himself, compasso, right? High pickup, get through there, right? One-legged. Kawhi Leonard would never, ever, ever do that. Oh, good footwork, Zubash. What a spin. What a spin. So this is what I'm talking about, big guys. When it comes to you, footwork on the catch, look, like, boom, catch it. He already spun to protect himself. Nice job, Zubash. The Clippers are uh, good enough to make them dangerous, but... Uh, Terrible enough to never win it. Yes, attack more. I love this. Run through the catch, right? Number 14, man. Run through the catch. 2.5. You're going right away. Look at look at how that closeout works against Jamal Murray. Oh. So if you're not a great three-point shooter or if you're always just settling for threes, you can attack by just running through the catch. There it is again, fading to the right angle. Jamal Murray did this earlier on Paul George. I'm liking this man, dude. He needs more minutes. Does he get a lot of minutes? Any Clipper fans watching this? Oh, my God, you smoked that little bunny. 86, 83, the Clippers have made a comeback. What's up, Nuggets? Why are you handling the ball? There's that high position three, no chance to even contest it. Yeah, I'm not clutch. If, if you put – if you let Jokic – I mean, this is not a bad – pick and roll uh, and I just realized that this is not a bad pick and roll at all this dude is big and strong he can handle the ball a little bit does he know all the reads he might need to get into playmaker school but this is not a bad shot who is going to contest this high like I always say at the high position three he's uh, seven feet plus who is going to contest that like why liner's not you know short he's not He's got super long arms. That is not bad positional defense. But the arc on that, the height on that is uh, pretty ridiculous. Nuggets, man, they're dangerous. Why is that dude with the ball all the way out there? Where is a? Uh, where is where is Paul George? Three minutes left in the game. You're down by five. You got man in the game. Kawhi Leonard's not having the ball. <clears throat> Steps on the line for a two instead of a three. Cut. There it is. I mean, how easy is this? You run a five out, right? You have this dude, you know, hand in here, tall. You got him running the playmaker. I mean, it's Tom Brady. You got uh, Randy Moss and Julian Edelman running some stuff here. You're guarding the top side. How stupid is this? Like, Batum normally is a smart player. Like, you got to choose. You got to choose. Are you more afraid of Michael Porter Jr. coming up here and getting a handoff for a three? Or you're just going to let him go into all his open space for a dunk? Like, stupidity. I mean, 
That's like giving up a, I don't know, a run for a touchdown pass. Like, that's a stupidity. Down the clutch, I, I don't think Jamal Murray's passing this. I don't think he, I don't think he's hitting it. I don't think he's hitting, hitting this hook pass. All right. Again, attack the big. Elite players can disconnect their feet from that ball, give a little look to get Batum off of them. See that little look back, that pound and that look back to Jokic gets Batum to recover a little bit. And then Zubac is in a very compromised position. Subtle things like that, guys. Just that simple little look back. Oh, he caught it like a water polo player. <laughs> Gordon, man. You guys must be loving Aaron Gordon. That's what they teach you in water polo. Look at that. <laughs> that is so sick. I mean, too little, too late. Clippers is... <laughs> Dagger, right? Nice and low guard in position. Doesn't really matter. Get to your spot, right? And then you just do a controlled fade towards the angle. Keep the keep the positioning. One, two, boom, boom, right? Two dribbles, four steps here. One, two, three, four. Controlled fade. Dagger. All right. What did we learn today? Aaron Gordon has figured it out. You guys and me, I think we're in agreement. MP, MPJ is more of a sniper. Jamal Murray showing what he does best, man. Down the end, give that dude the ball. Get out the way. Um, might be very, very interesting to see Aaron Gordon and Jokic run some pick and rolls um, when they need it, when, MP, uh, when Jamal Murray's got a really athletic guard on him. So Aaron Gordon might be a decent secondary playmaker um, with Jokic in some type of pick and roll action. Clippers, um, I used to believe in them. Started with Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. They always sucked. Um, and now it's like Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. You kind of get a little hope in them, but they uh, they seem to always let you down. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.